whatever YouTube community, music community, producers, aspiring producers, producers that are just trying to be a producer or artist. Hey, Barry Keegi in the house. Oh man, been kind of down and down and out for the past couple of days. Well, past week and a half, my back kind of bedridden, man. But I haven't been doing many videos, but I'm back. So today we're going to look at again Magic Music Maker Premium 2020. Um, compared to to other DAWs, it's not really uh, it's not like our Studio or Ableton. I think it's kind of lacking. But for first time. Producers, first time beat makers are starting out, man. It's it's a great, great, great DAW for that purpose, you know, because you might not be able to write music or play a piano or play instruments or understand chord progressions or theories. It's all good because I got you. You know, like, like I said, right here. So right now, here's your sound pools. Let me show you your sound pools here. Where am I here? Uh, uh, Sound pools. Let me. So right here, here's your sound pools, right? So you just go through some of these. Like right now, uh, a lot of these come with the product when you get the the premium version, and it's right now it's like fifty nine or seventy nine bucks. Come on, dude. So I hear like something about trap gangster trap what, two, and give you an idea. Here's here's some of your bass. Right? Okay, so, so just to give you an idea, man, let's say you just want to come in and do something. You got an idea in your head and just, let's go to Trap My Squad. Let's see what this, yeah, Trap My Squad sound for. Okay, so check it out. So right here, so see you have, so each sound that you select here, you can also have, you also have pitch adjustments. So like, if this is at pitch one, listen to it. And you go up, it's like basically going up a scale. Okay, well just for, just for tutorial purposes, let's do this, so. Let's go, uh, put this back on one. So that's the intro. So let's bring that intro over. All right, boom. All right. Let's do it two times. Let's highlight that. Control D for uh, Windows. Command D, you know it, for Mac. And then for then let's bring in the actual groove, all right? And just for funsies, we're gonna control D until that fills up the whole 16 bar, 16 bar range. Here, okay. All right. So we just that's what we got so far. So that's cool, right? <clears throat> so now we're staying. We're staying that. We're gonna stay in that same sound pool, a loop pool. Trap my squad. All right, and let's go find some drums. And what I like about these drums, man. Seriously, what I do love about these drums is these drums are. Um, Mixed very well. The loop, drum loops got a lot of clarity to them, got a lot of punch to them. Uh, you know, just to give you some idea. So I like that. So this is a cheese combo E, whatever that is. So let's bring that right here, right? And we're gonna bring that. So the first intro of the bass, remember, was just a little couple of notes, one one note repeat. Then you had a little actual 
note movement a trench scale right here. Control D. All right, so let's check it out. There you go. Right there, just a cool, 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 uh, you know, little, little idea, a little bass line, drum track. And if you want to go further, so we, let's add some keys to that. Let's just add some keys just for funsies, all right? So let's go over here to still in the same loop, uh, loop pool, trap by squad. So we got sequences. So we got, let's go to these sequences. Let's see what we're working with here. I don't know, just for fun, I guess you use that. It sounds kind of weird. I don't even go there, but you know, hey, let's try it. And you really do not have to do Control D. I just do that because it's, if you do Control D to copy them over, right? The only advantage to doing that, right? By like copying over, or you can actually you can actually click this and drag this over. But the reason I do this is because let's say I, I want I want to break right here, right? I want to break here. Let me let me get the screen right. All right, so let's say I want to break here. I can just highlight that. And right click on and do cut cut object or delete track right so so let's get rid of uh let's get rid of the ones we don't want uh you can just delete object or you can highlight and just do your delete key bam all right and just do it the way okay now we click on it and we drag this over and sync the bam okay so let's see what we got That's cool. And the only thing we've done, you know, the only thing you've done is just like people doing samples, ain't no different. D drag the drum sample in, drag the, a sequence sample in, and put a bass sample in. Those three elements, and you got you got you got the idea for song right there. That's pretty cool. All right. So what we're gonna do is here. Let's expand. Let's expand these two, the bass and the uh, the drums and the bass. Boom. And a little bit, give us some room. All right. Make sure you bring the cut. If you don't bring this out to match your, I mean, if you don't bring this little loop, this little loop measurement thing at the top here out to match it, then what's going to happen? You leave whatever you leave, it's going to loop back from that point. So always remember that. Okay. So now. So we got that. So let's say right here, we want maybe add a pad. All right. So we could actually bring this out, but right here, maybe on this part, we want to add a pad, change it. Let's. Oh, that was that was freaky. My right, pad. What was that? Oh, 
I don't know, but we're going to try it. Don't hurt to try, right? So we're going to drop that right there. All right. And then we're going to click on that to highlight it. Control D, expand that up. And let's see what we got. So as you can see, this doll, uh, Magic Music Maker Premium Magix, not M-A-G-I-C, but M-A-G-I-X, it's, uh, it's created by a comp company out of Germany, I think, Magic Music Maker Premium 2020 version. Um, I had 2016 for the longest, it's still kind of the same, but they give you a few more sound pools, a, uh, you know, a lot more uh, uh, instruments, uh, instrument VSTs, and all that. Um, you know, uh, yeah, they give you a lot more instrument VSTs here. You got all your loop pools. I mean, you get, and what's cool about this is, I mean, you can, it doesn't discriminate between the sound pools. You don't have to stay. So let's say in this, you want it to go into, I don't know, let's go into something called hip hop crunch, right? And just, and we just go to make keys, right? Find a key. Really weird, right? It's all right. So let's let's see. Let's go. Oh no! Just let's go to guitar. Pick guitar. Cold on a guitar work, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do something just for fun here, okay? So let's bring that right here. Bam. Sometimes they take a long depending on the type of uh instrument. Okay, so and we just bring this over. I'm sure it's gonna sound as weird as you know what, but hey, you know. Never know. Let's try it out. So see by just adding those just adding you know 
something called World Guitar, which sounds like it's something from India. Uh, a cool little pad effect, some cool little pads, you know, added um, a sequencer loop, your drums and your bass, and boom, you know. So, all right, Magic Music Maker Premium 2020, man, is, is great for first time uh, beat makers, you know, just trying to start to learn to make beats. You don't have to rack your mind and your brain and try to, you know, like uh, FL Studio and all that for more experienced producers or beat makers have, can use to make it sound easy. But here you get ideas. And also with these ideas, you also got your MIDI hooked up. I got my MIDI keyboard hooked up. Hear that? That's my MIDI keyboard. And so again, you got you got all your stuff right there, what, what you need. You know, you all the loops. You can bind the loops, you can change. You can change your your your, beep, your beats per minute down here. That all oh, seventy. You can change your beats per minute. Click on your metronome. Uh, record. Uh, I just just tip of the iceberg. So I want to do some more tutorials on Magic Music Maker Premium Twenty Twenty for you guys. Um, hey, and just just have fun with it, man. And maybe you know you can, you could do you could do five six songs a day easily, ten songs a day with this. All you're doing is throwing a loop, shaping them. Add in what you want to distract, you know, and also with these loops, which is cool, you can also highlight them. And actually, you can change the key of the song right here. Like, let me show you. Uh, sorry. You can actually go up and change the key of the song if you want to. The key of, you know, like, uh, it don't show in here because I don't have this uh, set up for my, my software I'm recording with. But you can actually click on that. You can change from minor to major, major seven. Yeah, whatever, man. You know, just, just experiment and have fun, man. All right? So. Hey, if you like the channel, man, please subscribe. Rikiji, man, hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell, man, so you know when I kick out another video. And, uh, hey, man, y'all stay cool. Y'all stay safe. Be prayerful, man. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your families. Uh, wear a mask. Please wear a mask, man, when you go out in public. If people come on visit, make sure they have met your family or whatever. Make sure they have masks or do whatever, man. You know, uh, you know that's scary right now. I know we have family members that um, we want to, you know, a lot with, but it's still scary right now. So just take care of you, yourself, your immediate household. Make sure everyone stays safe, man. And uh, at the end of the day, man, remember God, the Lord's in, the Lord Jesus Christ is in control, man. This is all it is. That's all. I take that to the bank, all right? Peace. Please give me a thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you dislike. Please comment down in the comment section below, man. So I'm out. Peace.